Welcome back, everyone, to more Fallout. Now, if you're wondering why there's a chem uh, sign here on this very bottom bit, uh, I accidentally took uh, Mentats, thinking they were my favorite kind of mint. Uh, I feel good. Definitely smarter. Uh, but... I'm going to try to stay away from that unless I absolutely need to take myself a little bit of these medicines. They're not exactly prescribed. And they're a bit old, so God knows what they have. So, we're done here in Junktown. We're going to actually go to the hub. Uh, Killian said that we might be able to find a water chip here. So, let's, let's see what we can find at the hub. Oh, so we have the entrance to the hub. We have the Heights, Old Town, Downtown, and a water merchant. So the hub itself has a lot of stuff to explore, which is why I I said it was going to be one of the biggest locations in the game. All right, let's see if there's anybody that we can properly speak to can I speak to the caravan driver I can't wait around okay I'm ready to kick some butt these are oh yes how can I be of service what is this place this is the hub it is a trade center for the wastes it's the biggest city I know of and you can and you can find just about anything you could want here. And if you're looking for work, this place is, is the place to be. Seems it seems like just about anyone is looking to hire you for something, be it legal or not. Trade, you say? What is it that you trade? Hmm. Um, lots of stuff. Uh, general stuff, people need to live, food, water, lots of water. Water is probably the scarcest commodity in the waste. This may be a bit of a odd question, but could you tell me where I could find a water chip? A water chip? Wow. You got me on that one. I've never heard of one of those. Maybe you should check the general store downtown. They may be able to help you. All right, well, thank you very much. I'll see you later. All right, so very clear that not a lot of people know exactly where our quote-unquote water chip is. Not a lot of people are... Nobody's very talkative here. I'm trying to just walk around, see if I can... You should check... What does that say? Let's hit the road. These guys are aggressive. Okay. This is our, the last person that we spoke to. See Luke. Yes. How can I be of service? All right. So we have a bunch of Brahmin here. Uh, nobody else is very talkative. Uh, let's see. This, oh, police officer. Follow the main road. What does it say? Be along. Okay. Move along. Okay. They don't. This guy does not want to talk to us. Let's just go over here. See if there's anything in here that we can find. Nothing of interest, nothing of note. Uh, just a small shack, unfortunately. There's nothing to it. Maybe there's something over here. Seems to be a door here. Let's see if we can talk to this gentleman. Hello, sir. Why, hello there, my friend. And welcome to the hub. Let me introduce myself. They call me Dan the Brahmin Man. I wheel and deal with all the merchants around here, offering my humble services for a low, low price. So now, what can I do for you? Uh, 
What services do you offer exactly? Why I manage the care for pretty much all of the caravan wagons and brahmin in this in these parts. If they ever need anything for their caravans, I'm the one they talk to. Hell, the big three deal with me exclusively. Okay, and who are the big three exactly? Damn, son. Have you been locked up all your life in a cave or something? The big three are the three largest merchant groups in the world. Well, okay, maybe not the world, but they sure as hell cover a large portion. About as far as your eye can see. Oh, them. Sorry, I thought you were talking about something else. Okay, so how do I join a caravan exactly? Well, I don't have any openings, but you might want to check with the big three. There's a job post in the merchant's market that might be of some help to you. That's where they and others get their men. Oh, all right. Thanks, Brahmin man. Appreciate it, I guess. All of a sudden, he's a little bit aggressive. Like, he's like, why are people always bothering me? Like, what? Uh, I guess after that, he doesn't want to talk with us anymore. Hello. I'm sorry, you need to you need to speak with my husband. Okay, wait a minute. Are they oh maybe maybe the, the time is a little bit on the late side for him. He doesn't want to talk to us anymore. Okay, that's fine, that's okay. No big deal. We got everything we got out of we we got everything we wanted out of the Brahmin man here. So let's uh let's talk to this guy with the shotgun, Deputy Fry. Hello, friend. Deputy Tony Fry at your service. Hey deputy, what is this place? Oh, a newcomer. Welcome to the hub. You've reached the biggest city in on the coast. Heck, maybe the biggest city in the world for all we know. I thought you were part of the caravan. Did you come did you come in with them? Uh no, actually I did not. That's surprising. It's been pretty rough out there, especially with the missing caravans. But you're safe now. Just stay away from the Maltese Falcon. They're a bunch of troublemakers. Decker and his crew. Really? Okay, so uh, who is this Decker? He owns the Maltese Falcon in the merchant market, but I wouldn't associate with him if I if you want to stay out of trouble. He's nothing but a murdering animal, but the sheriff won't let me arrest him without proof. Hey, uh, sheriff, uh, this may be an odd question, and I'm sure not a lot of people have asked, but do you know where I can find a water chip? My vault's chip malfunctioned, and we kind of need another one like yesterday water chip well i've never heard of one if it has to do with water though you should talk to the water merchants their headquarters are located further south past the downtown area all right cool share uh deputy thank you very much uh, uh just in case is there any way that i could you know make some money around the hub why, that would be in the merchant market, a few miles south of here. Two of the caravan houses are located there. The third is farther south. I'd recommend the Fargo traders. They pay well, and they're not too crazy. Okay, <laughs> not too crazy? Okay, well, I'll, I'll definitely uh, definitely take your word for it, Sheriff, or Deputy. Uh, thank you very much. I'll, uh, I'll see you later. Okay, so let's see what is in here. We did a little bit of bartering with Deputy Fry. He has a lot of stim packs and some uh, five millimeter ammunition. I've, I jotted some stuff down, but honestly, I guess I just ended up buying it anyway. It's for future use. Enjoy your stay. Visit the Maltese Falcon. Can I go? Oh, wait, wait, no. Wait, whoop, up, 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 up. Uh, what is a uh, quick save again? All right. Nothing of any interest in here. But this gentleman over here, officer. Keep moving. They're all very aggressive, these folks. Let's see what's in this uh, little shack here. 
nothing in the shack. Okay. Get out before I get stuck. And Ian has somehow prevented me from leaving. Okay, maybe it was dog meat. Let's go in here. Welcome to my humble house. What can I do for you? More about the hub? It's a sprawling city. The largest I have seen in my life. The center of the town lies to the south, with the other areas branching off in each direction from there. Alright, cool. So, uh, what exactly do you do around here? I get by. I hire on the... Uh, caravans when I'm a little short on cash and work for the farmers down south a bit. Alright, cool. Well, do you have anything to barter with? 11 caps, you poor bastard. Okay. Well, thank you anyway. I'll see you later, man. Jeez. 11 caps. That poor guy. Got a rough... I mean, eventually we'll find something that is of, of, of actual serious note here. Maybe this table has some stuff that might... You see stuff, and it's clearly not any stuff that we need. Okay, so this is basically the exterior of the hub. Let's actually enter the hub itself. All right. So let's see what we got here. Right off the bat, I just want to check this out. Can I even look at that? Empty shelves. Apparently not. Let's go to the Crimson Caravan. Let's talk to these folks and see what they got. Crimson Caravan, uh, Caravan Guard. Hello there. How you doing? The name's Dimitri. Dimitri Romara. Head of the best damn caravan in the wastes. Are you looking for a job? You look pretty fit. Yeah. So? Yes, ju that's just what we're looking for. You like the thrill and excitement of battle, don't you? Bullets flying everywhere. Whipping by your head. Blowing your enemy in two. Seeing the fear in their eyes. Ah, that's the life. You look like the kind of person that could serve us well. We pay well. Oh, yes, we do. Well, just had a few new openings, if you're interested. But of course, you are, right? Well, uh, what's the pay? We pay 600 hub bucks a job. That's each way. Hell, people say we take all the dangerous routes, but I say they're the most exciting. You need a little excitement in your life. I'm, am I right? Of course I am. Uh, dangerous? Uh, how dangerous are we talking here? Of course it's dangerous. Why else would I fork out 600 bucks? Oh. Okay, well, um... I'll think it over. I'll see you later. I'm not paid to talk. Okay, Jesus. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Who the hell are you? What? I said... Okay. I guess nobody wants to talk to us today. Oh, hello. Is this a desk? A desk with nothing in it. All right, guys, come in so I can get out. All right. Good Lord. All right, so that's basically it. Um, let us continue on down here. This is the Maltese Falcon, so I'll just... I'll go in here for now and I'll explore. Psst, come here. Wait, wait, who said that? Hold up. This guy. Okay, hold up. Let me... Uh... What you want? So what you doing in the hub? Looking for something I need. Well, we all got needs. I might be able to help with some of them. So what sorts of needs do you got? 
I have need of some information. So you're looking for information, huh? Being a respectable businessman, I got to overhead. So I'll need a few caps to tell you what you need to know. Now we got that straight. What you want to know about? Anything you know about water chips that you can tell me? So you think I might know a little more about those water chips things, huh? Well, you might be right. It's going to cost you, though. I think 500 bottle caps ought to do it. Okay, that's a little rich for my blood, but maybe I'll come talk to you later on. Let's see. Not a problem. If there's anything else you might be wanting, you come to talk to Lemmy first. Sure thing, buddy. Okay, this guy... He's asking for a lot. I've heard of you. You're the one that took out Gizmo over in Junktown. Killian must have paid you a lot for a good s I've heard of you. You're the one that took out Gizmo over in Junktown. Killian must have paid you a good sum for that job. Are you here for some work, maybe? What's the job? And what's it pay? It's not skag work. You'll need to do it quick. And clean. The boss will give you details. But it's more money than you'll make in a month working for the caravans. But only if you're good. Enough. You don't take kindly to failures. If you know what I mean. Alright, so... This kind of sounds like one of those... Off jobs. If you know what I mean, so... Who do I have to kill? It's... Would you like to accompany me downstairs? There are too many ears around. Not right now. I'll get back to you in a bit. Oh, please do. We'll be holding our breath. <laughs> Alright. Little bit of a sarcastic bastard, but sure. Yeah? What do you want? Oh, nothing. Yeah? Well, beat it. Sure. Oh, there's a... Lively one, isn't she? See a drunk? I'm not gonna deal with that. What is this? Are these just like random rooms here? I think the only room that I can see that's maybe useful is this one, but I got all my guys following me around, so hopefully. Oh my god, it has nothing in it. Do you mind? I think it's. Yeah, this is like a. Oh! A very pretty lady. Oh, okay. I guess I interrupted something a little bit important, so let's just get out of here. Good lord. Alright, so this right here is the general shop. Let's go back to the general shop and let's see what we can find. Now, I don't want to say that, you know... Killing isn't something that I'm used to, but after taking out that guy Gizmo, a lot easier than I thought. I don't know. Maybe the money could be useful. Especially with the amount of damage I put out. You know, maybe a little bit more cops will just counterweight the fact that I'm freaking jinxed. Sorry, pal. How may I help you today? I'd like to buy something. Great. Here's what I have. All right, cool. Oh, he's got some stuff. Oh, he's got a lot of good stuff. He's got books. These are all very useful to me. <laughs> this guy's got five ropes and he's got a radio. He's got Rataway. I think I might need that at some point. So let, let me just give him that. Wow, what a couple Mentats. This is a counter, a Geiger counter of all things. Okay, wow, what a useful fellow. Let's see if I can rid myself of this. Okay. That's all I have for now. Hmm.
What happens if I take away all of the Radex? It really, it, dr it drastically lowers the price. Okay. All right, good trade-off, good trade-off. Um, how much are the Radaways? 19 a piece. 1923, okay. All right, well, thank you, sir. Uh, thank you very much for trading with me. Uh, I can't, obviously, I'm not going to touch any of his stuff, but he's... Uh, yeah, we got a lot of good stuff here. Let's see what this is. I can kind of squeeze a couple little things off. Maybe I can... Oh, God. Maybe one day I'll find something in one of these bookshelves. Maybe this drawer. Nothing in the desk. What about this guy? Well, if it isn't a potential customer, I'm Lorenzo. The, the Munificent. At your service. I give out loans. Only the 10% daily interest. A maximum of 10 days to repay. You don't find a more generous lending institution anywhere in the hub. Okay. Oh, actually, I was hoping you could share some information with me. Well, I suppose. What do you need to know about? Uh, I heard something about missing caravans. You know anything about that? Deathclaw. It's got to be the Deathclaw. No one's safe anymore. What about the Deathclaw? Man, some of the stories they say about that thing are just, well, they're something. Okay, well, can you tell me anything about Mr. Decker? He's a great guy. A good source of jobs to pay off my loans. Tell him I sent you. You might get a bonus. Okay. A bonus? What do you what do you mean by that? Well, maybe not a bonus. But he's a great guy. Trust me on that one. <laughs> okay, so we're definitely not getting this bonus, but uh, maybe dealing with Mr. Decker might give us the caps that we need to just keep pushing forward and maybe buy some stuff that could be useful. So can you tell me about the local police? They're great guys. It's true we had the occasional misunderstanding, but I think they're a credit to their species. Whichever one that is. Misunderstandings? Like what? Can you believe someone accused me of extortion? Fortunately... My good friend Decker set them straight. Alright, so tell me a little bit about yourself then. I'm just a respectable businessman, that's all. We Giovannis have been respectable businessmen since the days before the Holocaust. Now that's tradition. What's your idea of respectable exactly? You don't show us respect, you get hurt. How much more respectability can a man ask for? Okay, well, <laughs> I'll see you later, man. Good talking to you. Be around, pal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this guy sounds like a piece of work. Right, we got a gun shop over here. Let's talk to a little owner. Hi there. How can I help you? Can I ask you some questions? Of course you can. Don't be silly. Is there any place in town I should avoid? Oh, yes. You, sh you ought to stay... Uh, as far away from the Maltese Falcon as you can as you can possibly. Decker and his greasy lapdog Kane are bad news. They'll eat you alive if you're not careful. I'd also give Lorenzo at the friendly lending company a wide birch berth. Alright, well, can I buy something from you? My favorite kind of customer. <laughs> okay. Let's see what she has. She has metal armor. How much is the metal armor? Just one. So that is bonkers. Okay. All right. Well, thank you again. I'll see you later. All right. She's a friendly one. Let's see if we can actually kind of get back here. Oh, we can sneak in here. Nothing in there. And nothing in there. 
I swear. I well, can we even? That's surprising, but at the same time, I wasn't expecting to find anything anyway. All right, the Fargo traders here and the police here. This guy is another piece of work. We'll probably get to him in a little bit, but let's go ahead and talk to the police first. Hello, sir. The name's Justin Green. I'm the sheriff of this fine city. Is there something I can do for you on this nice day? Well, just wanted to say you're doing a f damn fine job. Over here, sheriff. Well, thank you. We try our best. It's really tough in the city this size, but we do the best we can with what we got. It's hard when the thugs have better firepower than you. Yep, I can understand that. I'll see you later, Sheriff. Yep, yeah, okay. Um, let's see if we can open this up. Door's locked. Okay, so... Can I get around to the other side, though? I feel like I may or may not have actually... Uh... The door is locked. Okay, so let me just not do that. Um, I should lower the speech a little bit. Yeah, you see? The far grow traders. Ian, Ian is clearly very used to them. So let's just go talk to this guy real quick. Hello, and welcome to the far grow traders. How may we help you? Hey, uh, can you guys transport water? Well, we can transport water, but it will cost you. How much do you need and where's it going? I need enough to supply a vault. It's up north, past Junktown in the mountains. A whole vault? Are you nuts? We don't have that kind of access to that much water. Plus, we don't want to go into those mountains anyway. We've had enough missing caravans. Okay, so you can't do it, but is there anybody else who can? I'm sorry, you're not from around here. The water merchants handle all the damn water in this town. I wouldn't even bother trying to deal with them. They're a bunch of vultures. Okay, well, just in case, where would I find them? Can't miss them. They're south of here. All barricaded in that damn water tower. Okay, so what do you do around here? I'm in charge of the... I mean, I help run the Fargo traders. If anyone messes with us, I'm the one they will answer to. We trade wares between all the different settlements. Huh. What sorts of things do you trade? Why, we trade just about anything you can about... You can think of chems, tires, guns, bullets, food, brahmin, dirt, even scraps of metal. Dirt and scraps of metal? You'd be surprised at what's in the man out there. Something that's taken for granted in one place may be highly sought after commodity in a settlement 10 miles away. Well, thank you so much for that. Thank you. Uh, I'll see you later. Let's see if I can find anything in these shelves, even though I'm pretty sure there's not going to be anything here. Nope. All right, well, let's see if we can get to this door eventually. First things first. So, of course, but there's a desk. And it's empty. <laughs> okay. What can I do for you? All right, well, that guy doesn't want to talk. So, let's just leave it at that. Okay. Um, We've done pretty much a lot of exploring we kind of figured out our ways we talked to the police we go we went into the fargo traders they well they can offer some money i'm sure the crimson caravan can do just that we got the general store here where we bought some books i will be using the said books actually right now um we got this guy who's obviously a scoundrel but we're gonna be dealing with him eventually at some point and we will be dealing with uh mr decker Something tells me that doing some work for Mr. Decker, aside of how f grotesque the job might be, could be quite useful. And maybe we'll give Lemmy some frickin' money after we've dealt with Decker to talk to his little friend over there. So later on, we'll go over here, 
see what's in here and talk to this guy. And, uh, yeah. Eventually we'll buy some guns and get some, get some good stuff going. So let's go ahead and, and spend some time reading. Dean's Electronics. All right, you learn new science information. Let's go and do the... You learn a lot about repairing broken electronics. You learn new ways to heal injuries. And you learn a lot about wilderness and survival. That being said, our stuff has gone up a little bit. Outdoors is at 37 now, science is at 55, traps and all that stuff. It isn't much of a difference, but it does help. Um, I'm surprised our chem hasn't worn off. But for now, this episode was just about getting used to the hub and organizing everything around it, picking up some stuff, doing a little bit of bartering, and just kind of getting used to the lay of the land. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're still enjoying the series. Um, we haven't even gotten to the good part yet, so we're <laughs> we're just we're slowly inching towards something that is wonderful, and I am loving every minute of it. And I hope you all are. Uh, just as much as I am. So thank you all again. And I will see you all in the next one. Have a wonderful day.